maombi kwa mnafanya wakati mwingine kizuie kuomba i mean i i wrote a statement here one of one of the reasons why you should not pray is if you are sure that you are not going to receive you have reasons why you should pray yes because you have things you want but you must also know why you should not pray especially if you are very sure that you are not going to get anything because a person that gets into prayer must be sure prayer is not a jackpot you try and see whether you can win <laughs> no prayer is a channel that you know when you place the correct key you definitely get what you want ask and it shall be given not that ask and it may be given don't handle prayer as a jackpot you know in your mnasema kucharibisha prayer is not something you are given to use in it, trying to see whether you can receive praise god prayer is like your atm and once you know the correct pin pin number you don't waste time you must know the correct pin number ukiingia pale obwatete namba ya omo tu pin number iko kwa kichwa unaeka 123718 but if you don't know you will be queuing up for the entire day Unaingia pale unajaribu mtu mtu wako nyuma anakuambia please kama umesahau pin wacha tu nitoe kwanza ndio utakuja unarudi nyuma then huyo uh, akitoka unaingia huyo akitoka you will be trying the only thing to save time in your prayer life know the correct thing save time and be a neighbor save time. save time you are saved by the time you save mwambie save time You can't enter into prayer as a fool. The reason why some prayers take longer is because prayer depends on it has to do with your state of being. State of being, you know? I've always given you factors to consider, isn't it? But I'm trying to explain to you why you should not waste more time after today praying. Because prayer is not something you are given to try it's a channel that is supposed to deliver Prayer is supposed to deliver every time you engage it It's like if there is money in the account every time you put your ATM and you 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 put on the correct figures money will always come out Money will always come out So prayer is not like a, I want to try and see and wait in fact prayer is not supposed to have a place of waiting waiting is a is a communication of uncertainty you are not sure that means you are not sure you are trying in between in the in, in the period of waiting if nothing comes out you will again repeat the prayer to see whether you can have it this time around If you have if you prayed for something yesterday why do you repeat praying for it today what makes what is the motivation behind the repeat, repeated prayer is it do, do you do you think you prayed wrongly or do you think the one you told did not hear or you are trying to emphasize why 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 could you do it if if you told god yesterday and you believed he had why could you repeat anybody tell me eh hello when you told him yesterday do you think he had huh what motivates you are repeating why why could you do it you think he works like you director in some office or or waziri waziri no nyorde kwende i mean that's how god works Why why could you repeat telling him something? When wh what motivates you are you repeating the same prayer? To emphasize. Wh eh? To remind. 
Oso kubo kama kwa madana kwa madana rende ege ndonge tuwa kwa ntewe ayo butoleba. Ewa na nyasai. Ekuwe nere nako tebe tigoro igore nyomberi ya ne. Nkwa li getande. I hope au chasau. Ina, ina, wakati unarudia ile maombi inakuache kwa akili yako ni nini unafikiria inaendelea inafaa ufike mahali ujue prayer has nothing to do with god it has everything to do with you that's a kama umesahau pin number is the problem with your bank or with you so should you see manager and begin complaining ATM ya ino ni kama iko na shida? Manager, hii ATM yenu iko na shida. Manager akipita hivi akiangalia kwa ATM anana watu wengine cha 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 cha. Na wewe nakwambia eh. Pin yao ni 1981. Weka. Unaeka inangojea, unaeka mara tatu ina swalo. Ina swalo ATM vile singine zenu za maombi siko swalo. Mume, una, unaongojea mira kuna wewe unajua unaishi maisha ya thambi mm, unaeka pini wrong wrong inaswalo hiyo ATM card unapita kwa manager anakutolea anakuuliza igoneke maana no we no my ate pin eka ile nga 1981 cha 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 e pin ya ngale ngela we swalo ndio utakwinyora utakwinyore pin please remember your pin Child of God. Hallelujah. Child of God. Angalia juu kuna kitu ninaongea. Si mmeniambia nienda next level. Yes. Si ninyi ndio mmesema. Yes. Unajua pin yako. Listen. Listen, let me tell you. Watu wengi wanaomba na hawajui kwamba they don't qualify to pray. It is not everyone that qualifies to pray. It is not everyone. There is a qualification of a person that should pray. Ndio maana mkisema hapa at witches can pray inakuwa ni it's a lie. It is a lie. A sinner, a witch, a wizard, whatever they pray is noise. Na hakuna mahali imeandikwa kwa Biblia ati Mungu anasikilizanga kelele. Listen. Usifikiri kwa hii dunia yote ati kila mtu ana qualify kuomba no it is not true watu ambao wana qualify kuomba mambo yao yameandikwa kwa kitabu cha Yohana 15 mstari wa 7 Yohana 15 mstari wa 7 Yohana 15 John 15 verse 7 If you abide in me and my words abide in you you ye shall ask what what ye will and it shall be done unto you Bwana asifiwe Eh hey, inasemaje Biblia inasema Ninyi mukikaa ndani yangu na maneno yangu ya kikanda ni yenu ombeni mtakaro lote nanyi mta, mtatendewa Amen. Unasikia ninyi mkikaa ndani yangu na maneno yangu ndani yenu bas muta omba asa shida ya watu wengi wanaomba wao wenyewe hawakai ndani ya Yesu maneno ya Yesu hayakai ndani yao na wanaomba baba kwa jina la Yesu papo royoyo papo orori oroyoyo nini maana ya kukaa ndani ya Yesu si hata wewe unajua si hata wewe unajua Watu wote waliotaka kukaa ndani ya Yesu mifano iko kwa Biblia akina Zakayo 
akina mwanamke wa msharati hiyo mifano si kutosha ujue walipotaka kukaa ndani ya Yesu si walishuka kwa mkuju na kwa nomo ndaka wewe ya Yesu okoro ime ya bantu bande aya maombi mnafanya hapa wakati mwingine ninashtuka kama pastor wenu nastuka yani ni nini mnafanya wengine hata wale ninajua hali yenu i know you are spiritual hiv status hata mimi na kuona unaomba ninajua kabisa hiyo maombi yako hakuna impact itasaidia hata hii kanisa are we together yes. tafadhali mimi maombi yani huwa ninahurumia watu because haya maombi ukifanya when you know your spiritual hiv status you are you are always sure that you will get the answer or you will not get anything you know it even though you are doing it you know it you must make a few adjustments for you to qualify to pray listen what is the qualification you will be in jesus and his words remain in you then you can pray then you can pray then you can pray then you can pray number one, you must be in jesus ndio ulimpokea Yesu uko ndani yake sasa maneno ya Yesu yamefundishwa yameingia ndani yako yamepata sehemu ndani yako sasa hapo umepata certificate ya kufungua kinywa na kuomba chochote utakacho na utapewa hapo utaingia kwenye maombi ukuwa very sure ni kama mtoto ambaye ame revise na anaingia kwa exam anaweza toka pale amemaki kabla ya examina atakwambia mwalimu eke kerokio ene e unless ebile jabi maki asa wao wewe ukiingianga kwenye maombi aujui kweli hautapata ama utapata akero kurigeri le bintu biao ukweli kereli okora gende kinonyore echa viste tas yako ya kiro iko negative you are spiritual hiv status iko positive Ulisema kila mahali tutakanyaga tutajukua ukanyaga kwa wido uchukue <laughs> kanyaga uchukue aye my words must remain in you aya maneno ya Mungu unayajua si yeye ndiye alisema unajua alisema hivi akasema hivi akasema hivi si ndio my words remain in you my words remain in you then you qualify to pray if you remain in and my words remain in you then then you can pray whatever and then you can receive but look at it in your current condition are you expecting to receive anything <laughs> 